What's going on guys? Today's video will be about the installation of the Renline black perforated pedals as well as some new LED interior lights by Philips and a installation of some Dynamat under the floorboards. Let's get started. As with any installation, you want to go ahead and clean up your area that you're going to be working in. Go ahead and uh, take a shop vac, clean it all up, get rid of all the dirt and gravel under there. Again, these are the pedals, so they're going to be, once you get the floorboards out, it's going to be a mess down there. Um, go ahead and get a brush to knock everything loose and just vacuum it up. Now, once you get the pedals removed, whether it's stock, aftermarket, you're going to go ahead and see the, um, the metal plates underneath. You'll notice in, on my car here that there are two holes already drilled in from the previous set. One of the holes I can use, the bottom hole I can't because it doesn't match up with the, uh, the run line pedals. So again, I got to use one of them, which was nice. I didn't have to do as much work. But the uh, bottom one's no good, so just kind of, luckily it, it blends in in the back, you can't see it, it's behind the pedal. All right, now for the dead pedal, we gotta kind of mess around with it to get a perfect fitment. It doesn't really just plug and play. Sort of, but not really. We got this curve coming in this way, which makes this these mounting holes a little bit difficult. And then you have the padding on this side kind of pushing it out where you really just want a tight, snug fit. And again, you get to decide if you want it a little bit higher, a little bit lower, really whatever what you want to do. But I'm gonna have to do some cutting on this uh, on this carpet here to go ahead and, and make it fit better. Kind of brush this carpet back as well and clean it up. But it doesn't look too difficult, but does look like a little bit of a, a pain to go ahead and do. But let's go ahead and get started on it. Now one of the important uh, things to keep in mind is you wanna drill one hole at a time. Luckily I have my one hole already drilled you want to go ahead and put the uh, the, sc the screw in there, um, tighten it up a little bit so you can actually adjust the pedal. The reason for that is you don't want to just drill two holes and then you find out later on it, it's crooked or it's slanted or it's just not in the right spot. So again, put one in first, tighten it up, position it perfectly how you want it, and then from there you want to go ahead and um, drill the second hole. I also decided to uh, sit in the driver's seat to get a further perspective. I just didn't want a you know, one foot away view of it because it's going to change when you're in the driver's seat and you look down or when you're you know, opening the door and you're just first taking your you know, glance into the car. You want everything to look good from all three angles. Now for the gas pedal, I was my idea was just to install the new pedals and that was it. But I got a cool idea about modifying the underplate, the old gas pedal, as a as a toe and heel extension. So I went ahead and kind of mocked it up and, and came up with a pretty cool idea. As you can see here, I'm just drilling the two mounting holes that will be drilled into the, uh, the gas pedal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip that paint off and either do a glossy just do a clear coat over the silver or I might go ahead and actually send the plate out to get anodized um, before I cl I'll clean it up before obviously but um, so far I'm, I'm leaving it in there as red just to get a feel of it all right so I went ahead and uh, already marked the drill holes again I only have to punch and drill one hole in each uh, in each pedal just because the previous pedal set had one uh, hole already done for me so again we're just gonna go on here with a red pen 
Now, a lot of guys in the forums uh, were saying the drilling part's the hardest. Um, I didn't I didn't find that hard at all. I mean, again, I had only one hole to drill, drill in uh, each pedal um, and none in the gas pedal because that was already done. So it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, it's literally, I had left the pedal on there. I went ahead just very carefully, put the uh, drill bit in, just real slow, and it, I didn't scuff up the pedal, which is nice. And um, it came out, came out really well. Alright, so I went ahead and went to the hardware store, picked up some new self-drilling screws. As you see down here, it's actually silver, not black. I'm probably going to have to paint it or do something with it. The screws, run line supplies, they just got chewed up when I was trying to uh, do the install. This one here actually survived. This one down here, I don't know, the 1 16th drill bit is a tiny hole. It worked for this, did not work for this, I don't know if it's just the placement. I know the factory um, pedal underneath this carpet, it does have spot welds. I don't know if I hit one. I don't know what it is, but um, I went ahead and went up a size. This is, I think, a, uh, I think the guy at the store said a 10 versus what this is here. So again, this is, I'll show you guys the different sizes I got. Let's see. You can see the difference, how thick it is, and it has a self-drilling. Uh, uh, bottom there, but yeah, it's it definitely All right, so I found some dynamite that I had lying around that I'm gonna go ahead and Install and I already kind of started over here And if you take a look I have it semi installed already Just because you never know what you're gonna find under here and when I took the floorboard out, there's just nothing, no foam, nothing, just pure metal. So let's go ahead and finish up this sound editing so it's not uh, vibrating or anything. Now, when installing uh, Dynamite, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy. It's tacky material. You want to do a rough cut of your area you're working in. Make sure that if you're laying the Dynamite on it, don't go over any wires just because, again, you never know. In the future if you have to get to that wire a short happens anything could happen to that wire and going through this this stuff is a nightmare you don't want to have to peel on it you know peel it back and and scrub it off it's, it's really it's not fun just be very careful because the edges are very sharp and they're rough um, you'll see right over here I, I do get cut um, in it there it really hurt it's uh, it's a pretty deep um, deep cut in the finger and that that definitely sucked once you had the dynamat all in position you you're pretty confident that you're not going to move it go ahead and uh use you know like a little mallet like i'm using here and just kind of press it in uh, make sure it's all fully um, in contact with the uh, material that you're placing it on i use actually a, a, a like a 17 millimeter wrench to kind of get in the corners really nicely i use the um the circle end of that and the ham the little mallet I have here I use to uh, just really set it down and make sure there's no air gaps in between the dynamat and the uh, chassis floor the other installation I got to were the interior lights and they were six six thousand K 43 millimeter um, you can get them on Amazon I think they're like 12 bucks each um, I don't know why they don't sell them as a, a dual pack, but you got to buy one at a time, which is annoying. The black bezel around the light is uh, metal, so again, it's not going to crack on you as like a plastic light in newer cars would. Once you get it out, there's three um, 
uh, three wires, one's ground, one's power, one goes to the uh, the door switch for when the door opens, it turns them on, when it closes, it, it turns them off. Now the hardest part about the installation were, was uh, actually taking a photo of the light to show you know, the color, the brightness, and all that, but it, it just wasn't working out uh, with the, the such low light of the environment around the car. So I got a little artsy with it instead, but it is very bright, but just it's not that bright. You don't walk up to the car and just see a full interior lit up like that. This this has to be the most realistic uh, view of the, of the interior lights. It's, it's still dark. It's not like that picture you just saw where it's super bright. It's actually, it's, it's bright, but it's not too bright. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to try and get some more videos up as soon as possible. The next video will, video will be about my exhaust and uh, the setup I'm currently running and how it sounds. But uh, follow back and, uh, and like and subscribe.